morning and welcome to Trinity Episcopal Church for our live stream worship service. We are so glad that you're worshiping with us this morning from wherever you are today. Today we celebrate the ninth Sunday after Pentecost and you can download the service bulletin for today's service from the Trinity Episcopal Church website which is at fortworthtrinity.org. Just go to the worship tab or you can click the link from Facebook. Everything for today's service is in that worship bulletin. As always, today we express our appreciation to Mother Amy for modeling sheltering at home. She's worshiping with us today and helping to monitor our live stream uh, streaming platforms. Also, as part of today's service, we're gonna be honoring one of Trinity's longtime staff mem members. Our bookkeeper, Patty McGogan, is retiring this week and we've been so blessed by her faithfulness. So a little bit later in our service today, we'll have a part where we honor her and bless her. We're gonna miss her so much. Finally, I'm also pleased to announce that beginning today and for the next four Sundays, we're gonna have a concert series featuring our new concert grand piano. So tune in later today at two o'clock on Trinity's Facebook or YouTube channels and watch the debut concert today featuring Edward Newman and our own Director of Music Ministries, Deborah Clark. That's two o'clock this afternoon. Now let us worship the Lord with holy silence. opening hymn is God my King thy might confessing which is hymnal 414 or page 2 of our bulletin <laughs> Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed, blessed be, be God's kingdom, kingdom now, now and, and forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, 
that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading, reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Ho, everyone who thirsts, come to the waters. And you that have no money, come, buy, and eat. Come, buy wine and milk without money and without price. Why do you spend your money for that which is not bread? And your labor for that which does not satisfy? Listen carefully to me and eat what is good. And delight yourselves in rich food. Incline your ear and come to me. Listen, so that you may live. I will make with you an everlasting covenant, my steadfast, sure love for David. See, I made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and a commander for the peoples. See, you shall call nations that you do not know, and nations that do not know you shall run to you. Because of the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has glorified you. The Word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Psalm 145. The Lord is gracious and full of compassion. Slow, slow to, to anger, anger and, and of great kindness. kindness. The, the Lord, Lord is loving, loving to everyone, everyone and, and His compassion is over all His works. The, the Lord upholds all those, all those who fall. fall. He lifts, he lifts up those who are bowed down. down. The, the eyes of all wait upon you, O Lord, and you, and you give them their food, food in due season. Due season. You, you open wide your hand and satisfy, satisfy the needs of every living creature. The Lord is righteous in all his ways and loving in all his works. The Lord is near to those who call upon him, to all who call upon him faithfully. He fulfills the desire of those who fear him. He hears their cry and helps them. The Lord preserves all those who love him, but he destroys all the wicked. My mouth shall speak the praise of the Lord. Let all flesh bless his holy name forever and ever. A reading from Paul's letter to the Church of Rome. I am speaking the truth in Christ. I am not lying. My conscience confirms it by the Holy Spirit. I have great sorrow and unceasing anguish in my heart. For I could wish that I myself 
were accursed and cut off from Christ for the sake of my own people, my kindred according to the flesh. They are Israelites, and to them belong the adoption, the glory, the covenants, the giving of the law, the worship, and the promises. To them belong the patriarchs, and from them, according to the flesh, comes the Messiah, who is over all, God blessed forever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Our sequence hymn is Shepherd of Souls, Refresh and Bless, which is hymnal 343, page 7 of the bulletin. <laughs> Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord Christ. Jesus withdrew in a boat to a deserted place by himself. But when the crowds heard it, they followed him on foot from the towns. When he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion on them and cured their sick. When it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, This is a deserted place, and the hour is now late. Send the crowds away so that they may go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Jesus said to them, They need not go away. You give them something to eat. They replied, We have nothing here but five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them here to me. Then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. Taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke the loaves and gave them to the disciples. And the disciples gave them to the crowds. And all ate and were filled. And they took up what was left over of the broken pieces. Twelve baskets full. And those who ate were about 5,000 men, besides women and children. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Christ.
In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Well, today we hear this familiar gospel story from Matthew about the feeding of the 5,000, or the 5,000 plus, we might say. And I'm always struck by the richness of this story, the complexity and the details and what's basically a very short little section of the gospel. But particularly this week, what's caught my attention is the crowd. These people find themselves stuck in a deserted place. And the disciples are very worried about the crowd. How are they going to eat? What about their well-being? There are many times in our lives when we are the crowd. We find ourselves exactly in this spot. We are stuck in that deserted place. We don't know how our bodies, our souls, our hearts, our very beings can find nourishment, can find hope when we are so very hungry. I think collectively, we are the crowd. We are journeying through this wilderness time of the glo global COVID pandemic. It's difficult to even remember clearly the time before. We are lonely. The economy is questionable. We worry about what's next. None of us are unaffected. We are the crowd. We stand in the deserted place wondering how we are to find nourishment. We're also struggling in this place, watching the world trying to bear witness to racial inequality. We're in this desert where repentance and racial justice are part of the conversation. But we are the crowd. We are here feeling the tension, the hope, and the anxiety, and the possibilities, and the fear. And we are hungry, and we are the crowd. And in the midst of all these pressures that are happening on all sides of us in the world, each of us is also struggling with the challenges that come up in our day-to-day -day personal lives. In my family, for instance, I have an older brother, Dolph, who is suffering from dementia related to Down syndrome. This past week, my mother and sister and I, along with Dolph's doctors, decided it is time for Dolph to have hospice care. It's truly hard on all of us to see how far his health has declined, even in the past few months. We are the crowd. We feel as if we are in this desert and our hearts are broken and we feel lost. We're looking for nourishment. And you see, that's when we turn once again to the gospel. We look at what Jesus does. We look at what Jesus asks us to do. In the feeding of the 5,000 story, Jesus tells his disciples to order the crowd to sit on the grass. Jesus takes the five loaves and the two fish. Jesus looks up to heaven, blesses and breaks the loaves, then gives them to the disciples to feed the crowd. We are the crowd. In the midst of this deserted place, this, this sense of wilderness, we need to sit and to seek nourishment. We need to look around us and be ready to receive that nourishment. In this deserted, deserted place, what feeds us? What sustains us? What nourishes us to continue on? Well, I think as we sit and look around us, first and foremost, we need to take stock of our situation and we recognize that we are the crowd. We are not alone. We're not just associated individuals walking through this life together. But instead, 
Instead, we are all connected as God's beloved children. And as the crowd, we are nourished together when we sit and seek God's love and seek God's grace in the world. And in doing so, we do receive food for the soul. This week alone, for instance, small things and large things brought nourishment into the anxious wilderness. For example, even though we are still struggling with the global COVID pandemic, and we will be for a long time, I received an email from one of our parishioners who volunteers at the Four Saints Episcopal Food Pantry. He said that last Saturday at the Food for All distribution at the food pantry, which often serves 400 or more families, the pantry did not have the help of the Air Force Reserve Unit that it usually enjoys in the past. So our parishioner had put out a call for the Trinity Men's Bible Study to come help. 11 Trinity members showed up, truly bridging the gap and making a huge difference in many lives. That email with the photo attached truly fed me and nourished my soul. And I, I hope by you hearing about this, it does the same for you. You see, this is how we get through a global pandemic. We take care of each other. And if we can't be there in person, we pray for each other. We check in on each other. We don't give up. Also, as we, the crowd, continue to struggle with our reckoning surrounding racial injustice, we also find nourishment here this week. I was so touched by the many testimonials and personal remembrances surrounding civil rights icon and Christian leader John Lewis this week. But I think one of the most powerful images that comes to us is his own call for us to be the beloved community. John Lewis wrote a piece to be published on the day of his funeral, and in it he states, while my time here has now come to an end, I want you to know that in the last days and hours of my life, you inspired me. He concludes challenging us, the crowd, and he says, when historians pick up their pens to write the story of the 21st century, let them say that it was your generation who laid down the heavy burdens of hate at last, and that peace finally triumphed over violence, aggression, and war. So I say to you, walk with the wind, brothers and sisters, and let the spirit of peace and the power of everlasting love be your guide. This is nourishment. This is the hope that feeds us. This is the inspiration of Christ's blessing that sustains our will in this struggle. It will not end soon, but we must struggle with this, and this is our hope. We are not alone in this crowd. Sit and look for nourishment, and we can find sustenance even in the smallest things. This week, the week my brother went into hospice care, I discovered something new about iPhones. I was looking through some pictures of my brother on my phone, and these photos were from a few months ago when he was better. And one picture caught my eye, and this picture is actually pretty funny. My brother had dressed himself, and he dressed himself in this way. He was wearing long khaki pants, and over the khaki pants he had put on blue jean shorts and a black belt that he buckled, and on top of that he had a New Orleans Saint t-shirt, and then he was wearing loud blue colorful socks, and he was so proud of himself. He had an ear-to-ear -ear grin, proud as he can be with his fashion choices. And as I'm looking at this photo, my daughter says, Look, it's a live photo. Hold your finger on it. And I say, 
what are you talking about? She says, well, right there on the top corner, it says the photo was taken as a live photo. Just hold your finger on the screen and make sure your sound is on, on your phone. So I followed her instructions and I held my finger on the screen of my phone. And when I did so, suddenly my brother moved a little bit and he giggled. This live photo mode on your iPhone means that you've basically made a little mini video, basically about a second. And my wife looked at it and she said, ooh, it's kind of like in Harry Potter. The pictures move and talk. But for me, for me, it was seeing and hearing my brother in this sweet, sweet moment, captured forever in a week I truly needed to see it. Because you see, I am in the crowd and I was fed. We are the crowd and we are fed when we sit and we seek God's nourishment. But you see, we are not only the crowd. We are also disciples. So just as we find ourselves being fed, Jesus asks us, how will we feed others who are in the crowd, needing hope, hungering for nourishment, and praying that they are not alone? Amen. Amen. We'll reaffirm our faith using the words of the creed, which is found on page eight of your bulletin. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, Almighty maker of heaven and earth, earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We, we believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only, the only Son of God, God eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, God light from light, light true God from true God, God begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us and for our salvation. He came down from heaven. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he became incarnate from the Virgin Mary and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended, he ascended into, into heaven, heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He, he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son. With the Father and the Son, he is worshipped and glorified. He has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, we acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. As Josh reads the prayers, he'll take a pause after each petition so that you have time to type in your own requests. The prayers of the people are found on Book and Common Prayer, page 359 and page 9 in your bulletin. Father, we pray for your holy Catholic Church. That we all may be one. Grant that every member of the church may truly and humbly serve you. That your name may be glorified by all people.
We pray for all bishops, priests, and deacons. That they, that they may, may be faithful ministers, ministers of, of your, your word and, and sacraments. sacraments. We pray for all who govern and hold authority in the nations of the world. That, that there, there may, may be justice, justice and peace on the earth. earth. Give us grace to do your will in all that we undertake. That our, that our works, works may find favor, favor in your sight. sight. Have compassion on those who suffer from any grief or trouble. That they, that they may, may be delivered, delivered from, from their distress. distress. Give to the departed eternal rest. Let light, Let light perpetual shine, shine upon them. them. We praise you for your saints who have entered into joy. May we, May also, we also come, come to share, share in your, your heavenly, heavenly kingdom. kingdom. Let us pray for our own needs and those of others. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I give to you, my own peace I leave with you. Regard not our sins, but the faith of your church and give to us the peace and unity of that heavenly city. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit, you live and reign now and forever. Amen. 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 Let us confess our sins against God and our neighbor. Most merciful God, we confess, we confess that we have sinned, sinned against you, you in thought, God, word, and deed, indeed. by what we have done and by what, what we have left undone. We have, we have not loved you with our whole heart. heart. We, we have not loved, loved our neighbors as ourselves. As we are, we are truly, truly sorry, sorry and we, we humbly, humbly repent. repent. For the For sake, sake of your Son, Son Jesus Christ, Christ have, have mercy on us and forgive us, that we may delight in your will and, and walk, walk in your ways to the glory of your name. Amen. Amen. Almighty God, have mercy on you, forgive you all your sins through our Lord Jesus Christ. Strengthen you in all goodness, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, keep you in eternal life. Amen. 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 The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also, and also with, with you. you. Peace. Peace. Now we're at the part of our worship where we're going to have our blessings. And we'll start with our anniversary blessing. This is on page 10. So if you have an anniversary uh, coming up, and you've just had one, come together. And um, we'll say this blessing together um, all together. O oh God, you have so you have consecrated the covenant, covenant of marriage that in it is represented the spiritual unity between Christ and his church. Send therefore your blessing upon these your servants that they may so love, honor, and cherish each other in faithfulness and patience and wisdom and true godliness that their home may be a haven of blessing and peace through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Happy anniversary. Next, we'll have our birthday blessing. So if you have a birthday coming up or right around now, uh, come near the screen and we'll say a birthday blessing. This is also something we'll say all together. It's on page 10 of our bulletin. Oh God, our, our times are in your hand. hand. Look, Look with, with favor, favor, we pray, pray on your, your servants, servants as they begin another year. year. Grant that, that they may grow in wisdom and grace and strengthen their trust in your goodness all the days of their life. Through Jesus Christ, Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And then next, we'll love to have our children's blessings. So if you have children around, bring them near the screen so we can bless them. 
If you have uh, pictures of children you want to bless, lay your hands on those pictures. We want to bless all the children. Uh, this is also on page 10 as well. And we'll say this one together as well. God of creation and love, surround these your children with your grace. Comfort them with your presence and fill them with your joy. Show them that your way of love is what gives them life and encourage them to have ever-widening circles of friendship. Keep them ever mindful of the beauty and stewardship of your creation. Give them strength to hold their faith in you through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And then what we want to do now is, as I mentioned at the beginning, that we want to also uh, have a blessing and say farewell to our beloved bookkeeper, Patty, Patty McGolgan. And Patty uh, has been with us and she is uh, retiring this week. And um, we want to do two things. One is we, uh, the church has gotten Patty. Patty is a faithful Episcopalian. She is a member at All Saints Episcopal Church. And so we uh, have gotten her a, a Book of Common Prayer and hymnal that we want that uh, all the staff has signed. So we're going to start off. Uh, I want to bless this Book of Common Prayer. This will be our gift to her. And so we'll start with that. Loving God, we believe that you caused all scripture to be written for our learning. And we ask that you grant us the ability to hear them Read, mark, learn, and inwardly digest them, that we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. One means by which you do this is through the Book of Common Prayer, and we ask that you bless this book for Patty's use and purposes through our Lord, Savior, Lord, Savior Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And now uh, we, we will say goodbye to Patty, but not... Forever we love to be able to see Patty and she's agreed to help us when we need it. And we start off, gracious God, we thank you for the work and witness of your servant Patty, who has enriched this community and brought gladness to friends. Now bless and preserve her at this time of transition. Guide her in the continued use of her, your gifts. Give her sustenance for temporal and spiritual needs. Friends to cheer her way and a clear vision of the ministry to which you are now calling her. By your Holy Spirit, be present in her pilgrimage, that she may travel with the one who is the way, the truth, and the life, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Many, many blessings to Patty. We're so grateful to her for her faithful service. Next, we, we are moving into our offertory section of our worship, and we would love for you to uh, continue to support the many life and ministry of our parish. We're doing so many things. And uh, we also ask that you uh, continue to support us financially. Uh, you can do this by going, going on to our website, to the uh, fortworthtrinity.org, and go to the online giving portal. You can also text to FTW Trinity to 73256. Of course, you can also send checks to our uh, address, and uh, that, that works as well. But we're so grateful for your continued support for our life and ministry. Now walk in love as Christ loved us and gave himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right to give them thanks, thanks and, praise. and praise. It is right and a good and joyful thing always and everywhere to give thanks to you, Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, for you are the source of light and life. You made us in your image and called us to new life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Therefore, we praise you, joining our voices with angels and archangels, and with all the company of heaven, who forever sing this hymn to proclaim the glory of your name.
gracious Father, in your infinite love you made us for yourself. And when we had fallen into sin and become subject to evil and death, you in your mercy sent Jesus Christ, your only and eternal Son, to share our human nature, to live and die as one of us, to reconcile us to you, the God and Father of all. He stretched out his arms upon the cross and offered himself in obedience to your will, a perfect sacrifice for the whole world. On the night he was handed over to suffering and death, our Lord Jesus Christ took bread. And when he had given thanks to you, he broke it and gave it to his disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup of wine. And when he had given thanks, he gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Therefore we proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died. Christ, Christ is, is risen. risen. Christ, Christ will, will come, come again. again. We celebrate the memorial of our redemption, O Father, in the sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Recalling his death, resurrection, and ascension, we offer you these gifts. Sanctify them by your Holy Spirit to be for your people the body and blood of your Son, the holy food and drink of new and unending life in him. Sanctify us also that we may faithfully receive this holy sacrament, serve you in unity, constancy, and peace, and at the last day bring us with all your saints into the joy of your eternal kingdom. All this we ask through your Son, Jesus Christ, by him and with him and in him in the unity of the Holy Spirit. All honor and glory is yours, almighty Father, now and forever. Amen. Amen. And now as our Savior Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Alleluia! Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, Therefore let us keep the peace. Alleluia! The gifts of God for the people of God. Let us now say together the prayer to never be separated from Christ. My Jesus, Jesus I, believe I believe that you are truly present in the blessed, blessed sacrament, sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I long for your continual presence in my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come again spiritually into my heart. Though you are always present, I embrace you anew and unite myself entirely to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. body of Christ, the bread of heaven. The blood of Christ, the cup of salvation. Let us pray. Eternal God, Heavenly, Heavenly Father, Father, you have graciously accepted us as living members of your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ, and you have fed us with spiritual food and the sacrament of his body and blood. 
Send us now into the world in peace and grant us strength and courage to love and serve you with gladness and singleness of heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the peace of God that passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord, and the blessing of God Almighty, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen. Our closing hymn is How Great Thou Art. It is on page 15 of the bulletin. <laughs> Lift every voice and sing, page 60.
Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God.